the event the authorities' demands are not met within one week, take all measures necessary to restore constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. Such measures may include the use of force. Let them put their house in order first before they set up an anti kudetan unit. Should it have been so, if not for a extraordinary summit, that it's necessary to address the situation that we have in the Nigeria Republic. 
threatening our authority and a very devoted member of this union. Great thanks to Africa Union and other international observers. We can't pretend that we didn't have the knowledge of what had happened and what is still happening. We have an ostrich situation, an interruption to properly elected government of Nigeria Republic. Your presence here reflects your commitment to democracy principle and value. I appreciate that. It is a very challenging time for us and in this time that we must demonstrate our commitment to a sustainable fact clearly open to us that without freedom and democracy there can be no development there can be no end to poverty. The danger to us right now is the fact that one of us, His Excellency, Mohamed right, Basu, is in hostage by his own army. the presidential guard. What a calamity. It's an assault on every one of us. And we must take a very strong action. We want to protect the life of Basum, a president Basum. Disrupting the democratic order has led the people of Niger in a state of uncertainty and vulnerability. But we have to face the challenge that we have right now. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, during the sister ordinary summit, the authority set up a troika comprising some of us to deepen reflections on security matters in the region and to accompany ECOWAS mediators. We'll be discussing other details, but just let's cast our mind back. On this assault, I briefed some of you about the actions that I've taken. I'm prepared to abide by all resolution necessary. To respond to this assault and to make sure that our colleague, the president, 
My dream is safe. And that democracy is restored in the Nigeria Republic. Whether we call it constructive dialogue or otherwise, whatever you and I resolve, we make or mar our democratic credentials. I want us to be strong, forceful, and resolute about the survivor of Basu as well as the freedom and restoration of the constitutionally elected body in the Jericho Republic. I want to say welcome and thank you very much But no more time for us to sign a warning signal. It's time for action, and we should walk our talks. Thank you very much. As we come close to this extraordinary summit on the social political situation in the Republic of Niger, I send my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for your active engagement in our closed door and open meeting. Your invaluable contributions to our discussions have got us this far. And hopefully we will achieve our objective. The essence of African unity and solidarity is hereby reaffirmed. Our unwavering commitment to democracy, peace, and prosperity is here resolved. Throughout our deliberation, we have recognized that the challenges faced by Niger are all interconnected with the broader issues affecting our region. As African leaders, it is our shared responsibility to foster stability and progress, placing the well-being of our people at the forefront of our endeavors, and working together towards their prosperity and happiness must always constantly be our goal. And consistently, we will stand with our people in freedom and our commitment to the rule of law and not the barrel of gun. Africa has come of age, we reject coup, an interruption to constitutional order. Thank you very much. The authority having received the memorandum of the president of the ECOWAS Commission on the political situation in the Republic of Niger, extensively discussed the latest developments in the Republic of Niger, that have been marked by an attempted overthrow by members of the Presidential Guard of the Constitutional Order in the Republic of Niger and the illegal detention of the legitimate Head of State, His Excellency President Mohamed Bazoum 
as well as members of his family and government. Recalled with appreciation the immediate steps that His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Chair of Authority, has taken in the form of statements, communiques, mission and consultations with regional, continental and world leaders. Taking cognizance of the condemnation of the attempted coup and the illegal detention of President Bazoum and members of his family and government by the neighboring countries, the African Union, United Nations, European Union, United States of America, China, Russia, La Francophonie, the Commonwealth, the OIC, and other partners. Recall the principle of zero tolerance for unconstitutional change of government as enshrined in the ACOAS and African Union protocols and other instruments. Resolve as follows. One, His Excellency President Mohammed Bazoum remains the legitimate elected president and head of state of the Republic of Niger, recognized by ECOWAS, the African Union, and the international community. In this regard, only officials, official acts of President Bazoum or his duly mandated officials will be recognized by ECOWAS. Two, condemn in the strongest terms the attempted overthrow of constitutional order in Niger and the illegal detention of His Excellency President Mohammed Bazoum, President and Head of State of Niger, as well as members of his family and government. Call for the immediate release and reinstatement of President Mohammed Bazoum as President and Head of State of the Republic of Niger and for the full restoration of constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. Reject any form of resignation that may purportedly, purportedly come from His Excellency President Mohamed Bazoum. Consider the illegal detention of President Bazoum as a hostage situation and hold the authors of the attempted coup d'etat solely and fully responsible for the safety and security of His Excellency President Mohamed Bazoum as well as members of his family and government. In the event the authorities' demands are not met within one week, take all measures necessary to restore constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. Such measures may include the use of force. To this effect, the chiefs, the chiefs of defense staff of ECOWAS are to meet immediately. Hold accountable all those responsible for violence and terror against lives and properties of innocent citizens and residents of Niger. Condemn the pronouncement of support by foreign governments and foreign private military contractors. Express appreciation to the various governments and partners for their stance and solidarity with ECOWAS. Appoint and dispatch a special representative of the chair of the authority to Niger immediately to deliver the demands of the authority. In the meantime, the following measures are to be applied with immediate effect. One, closure of land and air borders between ECOWAS countries and Niger. Two, institution of ECOWAS no-fly zone on all commercial flights to and from Niger. Suspension of all commercial and financial transactions between ECOWAS member states and Niger. Freeze of freeze all service transactions including energy transactions. Freeze assets of the Republic of Niger in ECOWAS central banks. 
freeze of assets of the Niger state and the state enterprises and parastatals in commercial banks, suspension of Niger from all financial assistance and transactions with all financial institutions, particularly EBID and BOAD, calls WAMU and all other regional bodies to implement this decision. Impose travel ban and asset freeze for the military officials involved in the coup attempt. The same applies to their family members and the civilians who accept to participate in any institutions or government established by these military officials. Express appreciation to His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, President and Head of State of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for the manner in which he has conducted the affairs of the community since his election as Chair of the ECOWAS Authority. This is the communique of this summit. But I have a concern. Before setting up a unit or anti coup d'etat unit in ECOWAS, isn't it time that the African head of states or the ECOWAS head of states look into the reason why there are coup d'etats? What are the root causes of coup d'etats? Let them put their house in order first before they set up an anti coup d'etat unit. Let them put their house in order. And I believe their house is not in order. This unit is set up to defend them and to protect them only, nobody else. What is more coup d'etat than your national constitution gives you two term limit, five years, two terms. After serving 10 years, you want to change the constitution for another term. Is that not a coup d'etat? Because you feel you have the powers to do that. The soldiers have the powers to coup d'etat. That is also another coup d'etat. And they are living with them there. They are there. In the name of civilian putting on multi clothes, calling yourself a democrat when you loot all the resources of your country, mislead people, torture them, imprison them, burn their businesses to us, and you call that a democracy or a civilian rule and an illegally elected government. The leaders must stop lying to their electorate first, they must stop the corruption. They must stop looting our resources. They must understand that they are not a better citizen than anybody. They are given a responsibility, a role to play, to help develop the countries and make sure that there is peace and tranquility and respect the constitution of the country. But this is not happening. Example is this government. This government has lied to people in 2016 that they are going only for three years. Was that not a lie? Who asked them to tell people that we are going for three years? Were they forced to say that? They went around the whole country, lied to everyone. When the people started reminding them, this is what you promised us, they threw tear gas on them. And the president is bragging, yes, when I threw tear gas in them, they never came back. Does, not, does, does that not anger the citizens? You throw tear gas on your people. Some of them are wounded and you stand out there and bragging that I throw them a tear gas. They never come back. That alone can anger the citizens. 
You promise the people you will have a security sector reform. It's never happening. The civil service sector reform is never happening. The Janet Commission, Janet Commission was violated before the end of the Vice Commission. When you take all the assets of the former president, and now you are busy buying assets, your days are coming. I thought they should have learned. Or they could have learned from this. Unfortunately, they are not learning. So before you create a unit to go against any atom of coup d'etat, put your house in order, stop lying to your electorate, stop lying to your citizens, stop looting the resources of your country, stop corruption in your country. And then you can talk about anti-coup anti d'etat. When Alpha Conde was killing his people in Guinea, <laughs> after serving 10 years, he said it was not enough. I want to serve another term. During the process, so many Guineans were killed. And I did not hear any echo was going there or condemning him. You know why? Because Guinea was too big for them, or Alpha was dancing to their tune. Because I think that was why the Sumon Gambia was surrounded all sides by soldiers and guns in 2016. Because Gambia was small, or Gambia is a small country, and Jamme was not dancing to their tune. After the presidential election in Guinea, more than 300 Guineans were butchered, killed. No echo has condemned him. No African Union condemned him. Instead, they pick up their phones and say, Musele President, felicitas you, congratulations. <laughs> that is the fair game that is happening in Africa. They can condemn Mali. They can condemn Guinea. They are soldiers. But the one in Chad who has been given a red carpet for the African Union was never condemned, and he's a soldier too. He's a soldier. They can give him a red carpet to the African Union. But the other soldiers are condemned for their attempt or for their, for their act. Where is the fairness in ECOWAS or in the African Union? They are not representing us. I believe they are representing themselves. So we are calling them to remember that power belongs to the people. Alassane Ouattara knows how he came into power with Babo. He knows. But he finished his 10 year term, he changed the constitution for another term. They are there with him. Nobody condemns him. They are not there to condemn him because he's dancing to their tune. So I'm calling on Equus to do the right thing. We young Africans, we are here watching and we fear nothing. I'm fully together. Allah ga nuna ka gabda hotel yanzu haka inda take ci kana ci ka ga kwanata ake yi motocin su Allah da ka dai ganta ga tana tana ci subhanallah wallahi ga ni tsake motocin ne nake haka yanzu haka ina ta ka dai gani ka dai gani